welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be what love messages are coming through in your dreams. So when you're asleep, obviously. Um, this is going to be like, uh, you know, we have dreams where we don't quite understand like the messages, like the underlying messages. Um, it's just very weird dreams, so this is why I like to kind of do dream pick a cards once in a while because it really helps clarify a lot of things, you know? So I did four piles for this reading, always starting from the far left. This is pile one, two, three, and four. Choose the one that you are drawn to. I will post the timestamps in the description as well as the comments. And if you enjoy this reading and it resonates, you can go to the link on your screen now and book a reading. It's a video just like this one and it's very easy. So you can go do that. And please give a big like and subscribe. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let's get right into Hello, it. those of you who chose pile one. So what love love messages are coming through in your dreams um so first i'm going to read the angel message which we have sacred space we your guardian angels surround you with emerald gold and rose pink light surrender your concerns and worries and enter the sacred space of love and healing so this also tells me like obviously everyone has their own sacred space and a lot of, and a lot of times maybe sometimes like I well I feel you feel as though maybe your dreams are your sacred space but um you'd also kind of need to create your own um cuz you guys do need healing so we have 44 stranded number 44 um this is the oracle of mystical moments this is saying like since this is like love messages um <clears throat> pile one you feel very stranded right now maybe from someone or you just kind of feel uncertain or you know left out um it could be like abandonment feelings um Overall, yeah, like unsure where to go. With the waning moon, um, waning moon, it says, "What do you need to release?" So you know, with this card, there is something that your dreams are trying to tell you that you need to release. Um, it's probably um, it has to do with people or like old ways of thinking because I feel. You notice how we have stranded on the left side and on the right side we have adjacent possibilities so this tells me though um even though you feel stranded and you feel left out um you don't need to feel that way because you have a lot of opportunities um because adjacent possibilities ta um if you notice there's doors on the card so this tells me that a lot of doors are opening for you but you need to release again like maybe someone or old ways of thinking especially thinking that you're alone when you're not with the stranded card so there's that we'll see the tarot cards which we have uh, three of swords and it's funny because well it's not funny but I actually saw the broken heart energy card and it like was out oh actually it's right here and I was like it, it was out but I didn't pull it for any of the piles so it must have fell out and I didn't realize and it's just funny that I see three of swords like for pile one and then we have king of swords Yeah, maybe your dreams haven't been like the lightest of energies because with all of this sword energy, it talks about obviously um, there could be a male air sign involved, but either way, it's a very, it's a man who um, puts his head over his heart kind of person and I just feel, or you're that person, I don't know, but 
I just, you know, you guys are very broken hearted. And I feel you, um, your dreams kind of, that's why, I don't know, like if you've been having nightmares or just not the greatest dreams, I feel for a lot of you too with the nine of swords, you're just overthinking and causing yourself a lot of anxiety. Um, so with two of pentacles, that's why, you know, a message is coming through for you to kind of like balance yourself in that sense, because with the overthinking and um, worrying, it's, I feel again, like weighing you down and you feel as though, you know, maybe you can't go on without someone, maybe this person, but this is telling you that's not true. You know, you have so many options. You are an amazing person. You know, you're not stranded. People around you love you and care about you. And that's why we also have the sacred space card because that's another like reassuring message that goes along with it um but yeah i know you guys are really dealing with a broken heart i saw the message twice so yeah um maybe i also suggest kind of like you know maybe you're being told to balance this as well in the physical world <clears throat> because again you could just be overthinking and that's why you're having like certain dreams. But the message is that, again, like you can, you have other possibilities and you don't need to be stuck in this cycle, I feel. So that was pile one. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next hour coming up for you and your dreams. So from the angels we have faith do not lose faith the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more so there's also i want to say like a lot of green here because we have eva here and we have new moon in virgo which is green and earthy and we also have six chakra archangel metatron which is about clear vision and clear thinking and processing a lot of, you know, thoughts, but thinking really into the future and planning ahead. And with Eva, I kind of wanted to read uh, more of a description for you about her. Because I feel for a lot of you, you have a lot of, um, I feel uh, like you don't trust someone, I feel. Like there's someone who you don't trust, but with New Moon and Virgo, it talks about, you know, being actually able to trust this person or rely on them. But I hope this makes sense because I'm going to read more about Eva. So, out of the jungle steps a woman, half of her body covered with exotic plants and flowers. A snake wriggles around her neck. The woman presents herself like a sweet fruit to be picked. She offers excitement and novelty. But be careful, her kiss could be as toxic as the bite of a snake. Like a deceitful friend or lover, her unreadable count continent masks her true intention. So, yeah, it's like taking caution. So, it's weird because there's like this conflicting energy of being able to trust someone and being like really scared and having a fear that someone's deceptive. I feel maybe... And maybe that's what kind of blocks your clear vision when it comes to the future with this person, I feel. Because, you know, you can't see ahead. And maybe there's certain things that are still, like, really unknown and aren't, um, you know, set in stone, I guess you could say. So, we'll see more the tarot cards. So, hold on one second. Okay. 
Okay, so the reason why you've been getting these messages in your dream or like conflicting energy is because a lot of you, again, cannot make a decision with the Two of Swords. You're very confused about whether or not you like what you want to believe about this other person um, or what you want to believe about love in general. And that's why you're being told not to lose faith. With Five of Pentacles, um, yeah, it's like you guys have, like, you have little to no hope when it comes to this person. Or, like, because, again, maybe you feel like, uh, like you were left out in the cold. But I feel like you could be going through it, and that's why you're told not to lose the faith. And then Nine of Wands talks about you know, someone who's very, like, I, like, I feel you, you are very guarded with the Nine of Wands, um, and also, actually, now that I think about it, Nine of Wands next to the Four of Pentacles is someone who's really, really guarded, no wonder why, so that's why you're getting these conflicted messages, because you're too guarded, I feel you guys are way too guarded, because the Nine of Wands is someone who, you know, he's, he's, he has strong energy for sure and you know they're the lion and they're like serious but then the four of pentacles also is like someone who's very to themselves and like unable well unwilling sorry not able well, unwilling to open up so interesting okay so what else so i kind of asked if you can trust this person oh and we have princess of swords Four cups. Ace of cups. Okay. Ace of pentacles and high priestess. Um. <clears throat> so princess of swords is someone who is very honest. So kind of right away, I get like this person would be honest about how they're feeling. And then the High Priestess is actually, like, I want to jump over there, but she is actually someone who you can trust. So I, it's like um, the Keeper of Secrets. So right away, like, you know, when I see that and I ask, like, can you trust this person? It's like a yes, because um, <clears throat> it's someone who is, you know, who has silence, but, you know... <clears throat> And then with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, I believe also if you're questioning like um, how a new beginning would go or or if, you know, you haven't actually been with this person, um, how it will go, I feel it would be very promising because I feel this person, um, they're, I feel they're not like how you think they are and they're not like you right now. I feel they're actually very willing um for a new stable beginning and again with the four of cups they're actually they're not that way like they they actually are willing to receive and i feel the four of cups only came out because again this is like how you see them and then the ace of cups is how they are as well with the ace of pentacles so someone who is um yeah, I feel just not who you think they are. I just feel this person definitely would be honest and would be able to, again, keep any secrets. So, let me see what else I can get. <clears throat> okay, so... It's like, yeah, with the Four of Cups, it does also talk about, like... um I want to point out uncertain feelings and we talked about that almost like a thousand times in this reading how you have uncertain feelings about them but again two aces really shows me either change within someone but either way I get that like yeah you can put trust into this person that's just how I feel or you could trust that a new beginning that's coming will be promising and will be um something that you know you don't have to I feel worry about and you'll maybe with the high priestess and she's intuitive have an inner knowing you know 
So hopefully this helped. That was pile two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. That was pile three. So for the angel message, we have blue angel, which is Archangel Michael. So I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you all as well. So we also have Miss Sunshine, Full Moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches, and indecision. So with Miss Sunshine, it talks about having clarity and it talks about like balance and someone who does bring sunshine to others. And I feel um, there's some kind of decision that you're going to be making soon. That's what I feel. And I feel it's going to be a good one. I feel also, and it, like I feel this is when it comes to love. Whatever decision that you need to make will be happening very soon. Or some kind of climax will be approaching very soon regarding the situation. And I feel it will probably, again, like, end very well for you. And that's why, you know, Archangel Michael is telling you as well, like, all is well. Because all is going to, I feel, be well when it comes to your fears uh, regarding whatever, you know, love situation you have. Okay, so... Okay, so we have the Five of Wands, which tells me, like, yeah, you guys have been, I feel, probably having dreams, like, <clears throat> and maybe it has a lot to do with maybe you're fighting with someone you love, and I feel there could be, like, tension there, but, um... It talks about how the ending will be well. So if you notice, we have the Fool and the Prince of Cups. So I feel as though, um, you know, the Fool talks about happy and new beginnings, obviously. And the Prince of Cups talks about romance and um, also like Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Talks about romance and talks about like true feelings and... Um, because the cups really are about feelings and someone who is ready to, like, you know, romance you or whatever. Um, oh, I saw the Princess of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel, um, again, like a lot is going to come to light. We also have the Princess of Pentacles, which actually I just saw her. So that's like a earth sign female. And then we also have a male earth sign. But then we have Judgment, again, which talks about some kind of renewal. I feel it could be like, again, unexpected because the moon talks about hidden messages and like following your intuition but mainly just about things that like like are like you can't see right now but um let's see let's see advice Okay, well, for advice, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords, and the Tower card. So, we do have two major arcana here, and then not only that, but we have Ace of Swords, like, right in the middle. Um, so, the advice has to do with, you know, Wheel of Fortune talks about higher 
higher power. It talks about, you know, endings. But I feel with the advice it's saying to kind of maybe gain clarity and think logically about what you want to do next because again like something was probably something probably happened where you know it i don't want to say like destroyed you on the inside but it you know shook you up a lot with the tower tower tarot tower 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 card <laughs> in the wheel of fortune again it talks about like being strong and kind of going with the flow with new cycles because I feel you will gain clarity and there again there are things that you can't see also that will be coming to you so you're being told to kind of like not assume things um let's see Yeah, keep hoping, keep looking on the bright side. Don't rush things. I feel take things very slow um, with whatever your next moves are because you don't need to rush anything. Everything is all in divine timing. The star card, again, it's saying like not to lose hope and like, everything is going to end well. Um, and I think that's why you're being told to kind of have calmer energy right now. Um, yeah, I feel there's a lot of movement, yeah, and also temperance working on inner balance, and even with the star and temperance, they're very calming cards, so maybe a lot of you have, um, and even blue, the color blue is very calming, so maybe a lot of you need to kind of really relax and maybe do self-care, that kind of thing, because again, there's things that you cannot control right now that will eventually be unveiled and I feel again all will be well within the situation but your dreams I feel are trying to tell you um to not worry about things that you can't control right now because um I feel again this is going to end well especially you know with Archangel Michael kind of showing up and telling you so but you need to gain some kind of mental clarity and realization and have hope that's also what we have is just like having hope about the situation and not rushing things because with the moon card again there are hit there are things that you don't know of so you don't know the whole story that was pile three i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye pile four so for the angel message we have the unknown do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. So with this card, you know, it does tell me right away that you guys do have a heavy fear of what's going to happen, I feel, in the future when it comes to love. Could be a certain connection or just love in general. Um, we have the journey card here, and this talks about um, being able to appreciate the journey that you are on this journey that you know of life that we're all on you know to kind of like be in the present moment and try to enjoy things and have gratitude um yeah like really being present because for the energy i want to say we have all tied up which is like someone obviously who's very restricted and someone who is stuck just stuck i feel and it could be mentally because we also have disseminating moon so you're being called to take time to breathe out because I feel there's a lot that you haven't processed yet or fully processed or um, <clears throat> examine the situation from a higher or a different perspective you know and also yeah you just you really need to take a time to breathe out because for a lot of you, you know, again, you're like putting too much pressure on yourself and I feel you might be tying yourself up um, with, you know, certain thoughts. So, let's see what else we got. Okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, 
the Hermit and Eight of Swords. So yeah, this makes perfect sense. So Seven of Pentacles, again, you're being told to have patience. Um, with the Six of Cups, it tells me you're too much in your past, but you're also too worried about your future to be in the present, which is obviously a problem. Um, <clears throat> with the Hermit and Eight of Swords, you've also kind of been distancing yourself from others. And I don't feel it's really in a good way. I feel it's actually affected you negatively because, again, you've kind of tied yourself up mentally um and restricted yourself because with the eight of swords this also talks about mental restriction and again like tying yourself up because in the traditional rider weight this would show a woman who's tied up um and swords obviously have to do with this uh thinking and the hermit is someone who is like wise but again he's to himself and this being next to the eight of swords tells me yeah being like trapped in the past but also worried about the future needing to have patience and hope that things are going to turn out well so we're going to look at the guidance which we have ace of wands the higher font and five of swords yeah so with the Ace of Wands, it talks about having a new outlook on life, like have, like seeing things from a new perspective, a new creative perspective, and basically finding your passion again. Because the Hierophant, this is saying like, you know, trusting that all is, you know, guide, uh, is being divinely guided and, you know, how I want to say like, everything's happening for a reason basically um and the five of swords that's why you're being told to kind of stop fighting yourself and um look to any spiritual leaders also around you with the higher font card but really trusting in in that in your higher power in the higher power like trusting in your guides with the higher font card um because for a lot of you um, that stuck energy maybe has a lot to do with your faith and your passion and that kind of thing. So that's why you're being told that. Because with that, you will kind of gain the mental clarity and there won't be so much, you know, like five of swords energy. Like, you know, being stuck and fighting again, like maybe amongst yourself or whatever, you know beating yourself up it could be as well you're just being told to trust in the higher power and that you know a new fresh start is going to be great for you and not to worry about what the future has for you because um all is going to lead to great new things so that was pile four i hope you guys enjoyed this reading um if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye. Yeah.